Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate creating a distortion effect in Audacity. I'm actually interested in creating a fairly aggressive short sound. So to do this, I'm going to start with the sound of paper tearing. It's simply a recording of an A4 sheet of paper that's been torn. Let's have a listen. Okay, the piece of this audio that I'm actually going to focus upon and use today is the starting few hundred milliseconds. That's because it's got a bit of movement about it and it's also short enough. So I'm going to go edit, copy, file, new. I'm now going to paste that chunk into it. Now this is a different approach as what I've done before. I would have probably just trimmed down to that audio. But this is another way to create an audio file by grabbing sound from one sample and pasting it into a new document. I'll go view, fit in window and fit vertically so I can see it. The next thing I'm going to do is go to effect and go to the leveler. Now this is essentially going to boost up the amplitude levels until they sound distorted. I'm going to use the heaviest degree of leveling and a lower noise threshold, about minus 35 dB. Click OK. Let's have a listen. OK, so it sounds much more aggressive as a result of the distortion. Let's go back to effect and I can actually just repeat the application of that effect over the top of this one. So let's do that again. OK, that's sounding pretty good. I just want it to be a little bit more aggressive. Go back to effect and go repeat leveler. OK, that's pretty vicious. Of course, you can customize the settings to your own taste, but I'm very happy with that. And that'll form the nice basis, particularly of other sort of percussive sounds that I may wish to use. I'm going to save that and export that out. File, export audio. I'll call it Aggressive Blast, Wave, 24-bit, Save, we don't need any metadata, click OK, and we're done.